It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, if you've ever been in an emergency room, you might have had to, of course, go through the entire procedure of having to wait until a doctor can attend to your needs. Now, patients would usually have to undergo the initial evaluation called the triage process, and the efficiency of this process may sometimes mean life or death. Now, Cape Town doctors Dr. Yasin Khan and Dr. Mohamed Dalwai are the masterminds behind an app that employs algorithms and mathematical scores to calculate illness levels. Now, typically, nurses will calculate this score based on paper charts and from memory, which of course leaves room for error. And this app ensures that scores are calculated accurately. And the fact that this is done here in South Africa is a point of, I think, for all of us to be very, very proud. So gentlemen, a very good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. So I'm going to ask you very, uh, first, uh, Dr. Yassine, about what made you get to the point where you thought there is a serious need for this app in South Africa, in, this, in the health sector? So, so we're facing a huge issue mm. uh, in emergency medicine and in public health generally. Our, our hospitals are completely overrun. Mm -hmm. Trauma, medicine, psychiatry. And, you know, it, w with this burden, it becomes very, very difficult even for the, 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 the really skilled healthcare workers that we have. We've got really great nurses and doctors, probably some of the best in the world. But under these conditions, it makes it very, very easy for us to make mistakes. Yes. And one of the critical areas in making mistakes is really the first point of contact for any patient coming into the health system. Yes. So, so the, the so-called triage or prioritization area. Yes. And we've personally seen patients you know, being in, in, inappropriately assessed yeah. and even dying as a result in, in our emergency rooms. And, yeah. I mean, it's a problem faced in South Africa and it's a problem faced globally and, and, and this is one of the, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a problem that we feel technology can, can, can critically see to. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's quickly go through the app and, and show me how exactly it would work. So you come into an emergency room and uh, a nurse would then have one of these and then what would happen? And basically, we'll mm -hmm. go through the step was, as you said, it was a paper-based algorithm. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is we've taken the paper-based algorithm, which is the South African triage scale, and mm -hmm. we've gone and kind of put it through a digital system where you can choose through all the different things. It also gives you a little bit of alerts to tell the nurse what is those, uh, those symptoms and signs. Yes. And as you can choose it, it will then calculate the score for you. Mm -hmm. um, it will ask you certain questions. Check mobility, uh, like you said. Mobility, says, your respiration rate, 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 your heart rate, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera. Yes. And it will go through all of this and it will give you a, a score at the end and a color. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it will say you're either red, you're orange, you're yellow, or you're green. Yeah. And that kind of gives us a really great way of prioritization of our patients exactly. and saying, this patient really needs to be seen now. Yes. You know, um, and it gives us an ability to then manage our limited resources in a more effective way. This is fantastic stuff. And the, the fact that, like I said in the beginning, it's all proudly South African done here yeah. in our country. I, I'm so, so grateful that you, that you guys have done this. And uh, I understand that it's already reached 63 countries. So the application is freely downloadable on the... Um, on the different stores, mm -hmm. um, and it can be downloaded all around the world at the moment. And yes. It's been used in different countries all around the world. How would you like to see this implemented going further? I mean, I, I know that there are areas around the world, very remote areas, where you know innovation and technology like this is, is very necessary. So how would you like to see it unfold going into the future? So one of the really great ways that we've seen this app being used is um, by actually installing it mm -hmm. in an emergency room and linking it up to a printing mechanism so that even in environments where there are no formal electronic records, uh, you know, a, a, a very inexperienced nurse can, if it, can actually go through the app, print out a report and give quite accurate prioritization. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we look, we're looking towards a model like this for very many low-resource countries around the world. Our, our real goal is to see this used across the public sector in South Africa and in many other low resource settings, preferably you know, around uh, Southern Africa and, and, and the rest of Africa as well. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Yeah. This is really, really fantastic stuff. And uh, thank you for, I think, carrying the, the heart and the needs of people first and using technology to, to take care of those first. Thank you very much, doctors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think that brings that uh, saying into mind. An app a day keeps the doctor away, <laughs> more or less. But this is really, really wonderful stuff. And the fact that it's proudly South African makes it even sweeter on this Monday morning. Right now, though, let's check out the morning headlines with Graham.